Hello everyone, how to solve this problem for the values of b if we have b minus 2 divided by b is equals to 2 and we solve this problem for all the values of b. So here first we need to find all the roots of this equation and at the last we will be verify that which of the roots are solution of this equation and which of the roots are extraneous root. Further we solve this problem for two methods. I hope so you like both of these two methods but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section. Now here in the first method we need to move this b from left hand side to the right hand side. So here you see that it is divided by here when we move it into the right hand side it is multiplied by this 2. So it will be written as b minus 2 is equals to 2 times of b. And now here further in the next step, we need to move uh, this b only from left hand side to the right hand side. It means that we move the variable terms to the right hand side. So in the left hand side, we get only minus 2 equals 2. In the right hand side, we have this is 2b and this is positive b. When we move it into the right hand side, it will become negative b. And this implies that we have this is minus 2 equals 2. Here 2b minus b is equals to b only so here you see that in the first method we just get only one root of the given equation and that is b is equals to minus 2 okay so uh, in the next step here we need to verify that is this value of b be the solution or is this value of b be the extraneous root so for a verification of the roots we need to copy down given question statement here it is b minus 2 divided by b is equals to 2. So this is the our given question statement. And here uh, in the left hand side we substitute the value of b and it will be written as b equals to minus 2 when you put it here it will becomes minus 2 minus 2 divided by minus 2 is equals to 2. And now here in the next step we need more simplifications and it will be written as this is minus 2 minus 2 becomes here minus 4 divided by minus 2 is equals to 2. And now you see here this is the negative term are cancelled out by negative term and here we cancel these two terms with the table of 2. So you get here 2 times 2 becomes 4 and this implies that 2 equals to 2. This shows that both of the sides are equal. So if both of the sides are equal it means that the value of b equals to minus 2 is satisfied over this given question statement. So here we conclude about that the solution set of this question is b is equals to minus 2. Okay, so this is the only one solution of the given equation which we get here from first method. And now we again solve this problem for second method. And in second method we need to copy down given question statement here and the given question statement is b minus 2 divided by b is equals to 2. So this is the our given question statement and here uh, here we again solve this problem in a very uh, in a different approach other than first method. Here I can just choose uh, another method which is the very quickest method and here we uh, quickly get the values of b. So in this method uh, we need to break this fraction and when we break this fraction it will be written as b divided by b minus 2 divided by b is equals to 2. And now you see here this 2 is cancelled out by this 2 and here we get only 1 minus this is 2 divided by b is equals to 2. And now because here our target is to get the values of b so that's why we move this plus 1 to the right hand side and when we move 1 to the right hand side it will be written as minus 2 over b so this is positive term when we move it into the right hand side it will becomes negative and we obtain this is minus 2 divided by b is equals to 2 minus 1 is equals to 1. And here our target is to get the values of b. So for this we move this b to the right hand side. It is divided by here. When we move it into the right hand side, 
it is multiplied by 1 and it will be written as minus 2 is equals to 1 multiplied by b. So here we have b is equals to minus 2. So this is the only one root of the given equation which we get here from first method. And uh, this is the final answer. Uh, and here in the first method we already verify that this value of b is satisfied over given question statement. So it means that the solution set of this question is b is equals to minus 2. So this is the only one solution of the given equation. And this is the final answer. And thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.